Pusher Jones, the virtual rock band, which is the brainchild of Velvet Revolver guitarist Dave Kushner and the Simpsons creative designer Dave Warren, has released their debut single, Count Me Out, and the track will be a part of the soundtrack for the new film, The Avengers. Pusher Jones will not only be an animated virtual band, but the actual band members make up a rock supergroup who have collectively sold over 17 million albums and taken home three Grammy Awards and two MTV Awards. Formed by Kushner and Warren, the band also features heavyweight musicians Joey Castillo, drummer of Queens of the Stone Age, Weezer bassist Scott Schreiner, and lead vocalist Frankie Perez of Scars on Broadway. Besides the band lending their debut single to the Avengers soundtrack, they also have plans in the works to finish their EP in the coming months, as well as continuing with their idea of an animated series built around the virtual band Pusher Jones. Artisan News recently caught up with Dave Kushner to get his thoughts on forming the band with a few of his close friends. You know, it's just all friends. I mean, Joey from... I mean, honestly, Joey from Queens of the Stone Age and Scott from uh, Weezer are my favorite all-time drummer and all-time favorite bass player I've ever played with. Because I've been in maybe four bands with Joey and I've been in two bands with Scott and I mean you know I love Duff I love Matt and you know I Robert Trujillo I played with and he's amazing too and all in different ways but I think for this project and for the the songs that you know we kind of came up with as a basis for the sound of the band they were just you know, perfect. And, and that was kind of the idea, you know, behind the band was like, who, you know, who could I play with that are my favorite people to play with? And that are, I mean, Scott was the best man at my wedding. Joey introduced me to my wife. Dave Warren, who comes from a very successful animation background, most notably with The Simpsons, also discussed the goal of creating a foundation of amazing animation and character development that keeps your interest in kick-ass rock and roll music. The, the whole thing is is that this is sort of like, you know, uh, South Park on the Sunset Strip. So what we're really looking to do here is, you know, beyond doing, you know, what, what you know, The Simpsons has done so wonderfully for so long, which is, you know, create this amazing cast of characters that you care about, that are funny, but, you know, relatable and all those great things. Um, that's been the foundation from the very beginning. You know, we kind of went, look at the, the animation has to, you know, be unbelievable and you really got to you know want to relate to these characters and care about them and the music's got to kick ass and both of them have to be able to stand on their own so um, to, to get to your point the the flavor of the Simpsons is definitely in there from from the soul of it I would say um, the humor you know is derived a lot of it is derived from stories that you know Dave has or that I've had from years working in the entertainment business so what can fans expect in the future from Pusher Jones? And we started talking about stories and he comes from, you know, working on The Simpsons and he had a lot of um, just kind of story ideas and, and character development stuff. And so we kind of went from there and it kind of just over time developed into an idea for a TV show. And then, you know, with The Avengers, it kind of took this weird turn because now all of a sudden we're in this movie and then it was more based on the music and now we're just it's this kind of three to four three and a half headed monster <laughs> you know co-creators kushner and warren currently have a tv pilot for the pusher jones animated series and a music video in development while the band is putting the finishing touches on an as yet untitled five song ep to be released in early summer 2012. Pusher Jones already have verbal commitments in place from the likes of Slash, Zach Wilde, Ozzy, Tommy Lee, and many other friends as they look to have a guest musician appear in each episode. As of press time, there is no official release date for the EP or the TV pilot, although the band plans on announcing more details in the coming months. Stay tuned to Artisan News. Over my celebrity, they all want a piece of me. Suits, pick out my bar.